Hey guys, today I'm filming my third update for my Rolling Project 10 Pan Sample Edition. I'm so excited because I was actually able to finish off quite a few items within this past month and I am adding in a ton of deluxe sample sizes for this upcoming month, which I'm really excited about. So I will start talking about the things that I used up. So I was finally able to finish Proof Prime Style Extender. It is supposed to be a hair primer, so I would use this when I wash my hair in the morning. I would put that in as a leave-in product, and then I would blow dry my hair. I didn't notice that it did anything for my hair, except maybe it made it a little softer and it smelled nice, but it didn't do enough for me, and it's not something I would get enough use out of, so I would not purchase that. Then I had another hair product, which was the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. This is a product that I've used before. It does absolutely nothing for me. I feel like after I use that, my hair feels really dry and like straw, which is the opposite of what a deep conditioning hair mask should do for you. It feels like I used a clarifying shampoo that stripped my hair. It's super odd, but I do not like that. I will not repurchase it. Then I did finish up the Ole Hendrickson Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. I didn't really enjoy this and it had a weird consistency. Maybe it's because it was in a foil packet, but you had the exfoliating bits and it was like it was mixed with some kind of a cream, but it didn't feel like it was actually exfoliating my face. I have tried a Biore charcoal pore minimizing scrub, which is my absolute favorite. And I love the Tarte Friction Stick. Those are amazing exfoliators. And this one really did not do anything for my skin. So I would not repurchase that. I also used up the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid. And I applied that in the morning with a little cotton ball. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get too many uses out of that because I think the cotton ball soaked up too much and I had too much at once but it was just a really thin consistency. I didn't notice it did anything for my skin, but I believe that BHA is a product that you need to use more long term. I would love to know if you guys are aware what the benefits are of using something like this in the comments, but as of now, it's not something I would repurchase. I did also finish up the Nude Omega Treatment Rescue Oil. I did squeeze this out into a little container because this is way too messy of a product to use in a foil packet sample like this. And out of all of the oils that I've used, I actually did like that one the best. It did sink into my skin really quickly. It wasn't super messy, even though it was an oil, I didn't run all over my hands. And I guess it did give me a little bit more hydration, but I just don't like oils in general. I'm trying to use my Derma E1 right now at nighttime. So the nude was the best one that I've tried, but it's not something I'd like enough to repurchase. I just don't like oils on my skin. Then I did finally finish the Sephora Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying. This was a nice mask for the fact that it, I felt like it was deeply cleansing my skin. I do have really oily acne prone skin, so those kind of masks are the best ones for me. I thought it was nice, but I just don't really notice enough of an effect after a mask to repurchase it, so I won't, but I have a lot of other masks that I need to go through. And then I did also use the sheet mask. This is the BioBell hashtag I woke up like this mask. Apparently it's supposed to enhance your skin's natural glow. Nothing. It did nothing. I guess it gave me a little bit more moisture. I do not understand why people use sheet masks. I know that I guess they can be fun or feel like pampering, but if you guys use sheet masks, please let me know in the comments down below what they do for your skin. Do you feel like there's actual differences between them and the effects they give your skin? And then I finished the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Power Serum. No, I'm not so sure about the anti-aging part, but I really like this as a serum. It had a really great consistency that blended into the skin really easily. It sunk in, it has a nice scent, and it did give me a little Little bit more moisture without making me overly moisturized because I was using this morning and night. I don't know if I would repurchase it, but I would be happy to get another sample of this. I really did enjoy that. And lastly, I did also finish the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off, which is their cleansing oil waterproof makeup dissolver. So I did use this 
every night to really remove my mascara so I would apply it like mascara then get behind my lashes I did a couple coats of it it did a great job of dissolving my mascara now I don't own any what approved mascaras but I do think it would do a good job for that I do have another sample of this that I will throw in one of these projects later on in the year it's not something that I would repurchase because I think that my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes get off my mascara just as well so this is a little bit of a gimmicky product because it isn't necessary Necessary, but it actually worked. So I'm really happy that I was able to use that up. So those were all the things that I finished. I feel really happy I was able to complete all of those. And now I'm going to show you the progress on the items I have left, as well as the new items I'll be working on this month. So the first two things I have are hair products. And on May 20th, Justin and I will be leaving for a week-long cruise to the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, which I'm so excited about. It's a great graduation present, and it's mostly our very belated honeymoon. We're really excited for it, but I do have a couple items in here that I plan on using during that time or I want to finish up before that time. So for these hair products, these are a deluxe size shampoo and conditioner I would like to use up before that time. That way when I leave for my trip, I can open up brand new travel size shampoo conditioners that should last me the entire time. So what I have here would be the Peter Thomas Roth Mega Rich Shampoo and Conditioner. I got these from a hotel uh, about a year ago, I think. So for the shampoo, I'm all the way down here, so not a ton left. And for the conditioner, I'm actually all the way down there. So I have even less in this, but that's okay. When I finish this up, I will just use this shampoo and my normal conditioner. So these really should not be a problem. I remember I didn't really enjoy these. I never like hotel shampoo and conditioners, but because they were Peter's Thomas Roth, I took them and was like, oh my gosh, I have to try these. So I will give you my thoughts on them next month but I shouldn't have any trouble finishing that and then I do have one item I want to use up while I'm on my trip and this is the Tarte Tarte Guard 30 I'm going to be using this as my facial sunscreen I have already used a good bit of this there might be like half of this left so I want to finish that up which shouldn't be any problem I am planning on applying sunscreen every 20 minutes I feel like I'm going to get burned for sure. I know it no matter what I do, but also I think the sun is going to be so much more intense there. So I'm going to slather myself in sunscreen. And once that one is used up, I'm going to move on to this deluxe sample of the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Cream, which actually has an SPF of 50. And this is specifically a facial sunscreen. So this sounds absolutely fantastic. I need the most amount of sunscreen possible. I think that they say once over a certain number, it doesn't really matter, like it's not stronger than other numbers. I don't know, but I've heard that. So who knows if this is even gonna actually protect my skin more than this one. But anyway, I wanna use this up completely and then I will move on to this and I can give you my thoughts on this one next month as well. And then we got a whole bunch of skincare stuff. So first I have the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. I have been working on this throughout the past month. I'm not able to mark my progress yet because every time I open it, product just gushes out. So. I've been using this actually very consistently. I will wait to give you my thoughts until I finish it up, but I will continue using that. So then I have two serums. I'm gonna have one for day and one for night. For the daytime, I'll be using the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion, which looks like a really big size, so that might last me a while. And then for the nighttime, I have Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, which a lot of people really swear by, but I haven't really tried that, so that will be exciting. Then for my moisturizers, I'm using the same ones that I was last month. So for the daytime, I have the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. And I'm all the way at the bottom. I've even cleared out some of the very bottom. So this should be used up in a week or so. I'll give you my review next month. But I wanted to go ahead and show you what I will be adding in after this. That way I can start working on it as soon as I finish this one up. And that is going to be the Bosha Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. And this actually has half a fluid out. So I think this will take me a while to use up. But this seems like a really great moisturizer for me in the summertime. So I'm really excited to start working on that one. Then my nighttime moisturizer is the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. And I've been using this every single night, but you really don't need very much. It's a gel consistency that goes a very long way. And I am enjoying using that, so I'm definitely not in a hurry. Then I do have an eye cream that I've already been working on for about a week or so, whenever I finish the Caudalie, but I know this is gonna last me a while because you don't need very much for an eye cream. This is the Clinique Pep Start 
eye cream. Then I do have some perfume products. So spoiler for my makeup use up, I did already finish my Marc Jacobs Pear Perfume and as soon as I finished that I moved on to Marc Jacobs Daisy because I smelled this one and it started to smell like it was getting a little stale as well. So I didn't want to finish this this year. I wanted to start working on it because I'm going to put this in my makeup use up for 2019. So my goal really is to get below the word Marc Jacobs and as I said I've been working on this for a couple weeks and I was a good bit above Daisy but right now I'm between the words Daisy and Marc Jacobs so that shouldn't be too difficult at all. I'm going to use this every single day until I leave for my trip basically and we'll see how far I get and then once I'm on my trip I decided I would work on a couple perfume samples and these are three samples of the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy which is one of my favorite scents and I definitely want to buy this in the full size and it is a great scent for me for the summer and obviously this is very travel friendly so if I don't finish up all three of them, that's fine. I just figured I would bring them all because I'm not sure how much I will need. So I don't have really firm goals on those perfumes, but I just want to work on them. And for my last item, I have some foil packet makeup samples. I'm really good at using deluxe size makeup samples, but I'm not good at using my foils. So these should all be done by next month, no problem. But I wanted to add them in because I wouldn't have used them otherwise. So I have got two card samples of the NARS Laguna bronzer that I've used before, but I want to go ahead and finish those. I also have a little card sample of the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer in this shade number two, which I will most likely end up using as a corrector because I think that will probably be too dark for me. And then the last one is this Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation in one and two Vanilla, which is my shade that I've tried before. So I would like to finish up all of those by next month. So guys, I am very excited to start working on some of these products. And as you guys know, especially with me, deluxe size sample skincare products can last me a very, very long time. And I don't want to waste these items, but I also want to finish them so I can give you some reviews on them. But I'm super excited to start using some new products. And I would love to know if you guys are doing one of these videos on your channel as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.